Peace, good morning, happy Monday, and welcome to Dictation. Ha, it's been a little while, and as you can see, I can see. So, you know what I'm saying, got me some glasses, you know what I mean? So, uh, my vision is repaired, <laughs> not impaired. All right, so I got an article in today's Metro, dated Monday, August 6, 2018. Preteen boys take responsibility for hanging a black baby doll. A group of black and white kids confessed and said they were unaware of racist symbolism, just wanted to creep people out. A plastic black baby doll found hanging over the site of a recently discovered historical African-American graveyard was quickly denounced as a hate crime and even blamed on President Trump. Wow. But a group of preteen black and white boys has repeat, reportedly came forward, come forward to take responsibility for hanging the doll to scare people. Authorities said Thursday. Taking responsibility. City leaders denounced the action as a hate crime after the doll was discovered hanging from a tree in Wekako Playground in the Queen Village section of South Philadelphia, the site of a historic African-American cemetery. Shortly after the doll was discovered, the Philadelphia Commission on Human Relations Executive Director Rue Landau called it a heinous hate crime targeting the African-American community. Targeting. So not only did they establish a motive as they somebody wanted to target the African American community, African American community, they they knew that it was intentional. You know what I'm saying? Um, how see how people just jump to conclusions? So um, where am I? Here I am. Mayor Jim Kenney and, and said in a statement that the hanging of the doll demonstrates how far the the country has fallen when people are inspired by the hateful rhetoric of our president. Everything is Trump's fault. Everything is Trump's fault. The Fraternal Order of Police, Lodge Number 5, offered a $5,000 reward for the arrest of the perpetrators. But by the end of the day, the perpetrators stepped forward to claim responsibility. They were a group of black and white boys under age 13 who found the doll, thought it looked scary, and decided to hang it in a tree to creep people out, NBC10 reported. Y'all just, just trying to find the racism. Where's the racism? The racism? It's, it's racism everywhere. Racism is everywhere, oh my God. The white people, it's racism. And the men, they want to rape. So, you know, everything, everything's racism. So anyway, NBC 10 reporter Rosemary Connors was on scene reporting on the incident when, just after 6 p.m., four young boys approached her and admitted to hanging the doll. The Reverend Mark Kelly Tyler, pastor of Mother Bethel AME Church, spoke to the boys personally and said they told him they had discovered the doll as well as the noose. Discovered the noose? They used, oh, as well as the noose they used to hang it nearby and decided to set it up to scare people. Hmm. Tyler said in, Facebook, in a Facebook post, the kids had no idea of the horrific symbolism of their action, nor of the U.S.'s monstrous history of lynchings of African Americans. He also said he spoke to the police and they told him surveillance video corroborated the children's story, though police did not comment on the case. Said, oh man. These boys had a lot of heart to tell the truth. They found the doll, they thought it was creepy, so in typical boy fashion, they decided to creep people out with it, Tyler said in a Facebook post. Sadly, they had no idea of the ugly racial, pa racial past of lynchings. They were remorseful as they understood better the way their act impacted so many. This is why we must ensure that our memorial to the ancestors buried here is one that also teaches children. So that was pretty deep. I got deep off that, you know what I'm saying? Um, 
what I found interesting was the fact that so many people seem to not want to teach racism to their children or even discuss it. I remember when I was younger, not a lot of people wanted to discuss racism. I remember in high school, I would talk to people about watching Roots and people would say, no, I can't watch Roots because if I watch Roots, I'll get mad and want to fight white people. I thought it was a cop out, you know what I'm saying, um, personally, but you know, that was their excuse and I learned to just let people make excuses and just walk away and find people who, you know what I'm saying, I, I can kick it with whatever, with you, with you. So anyway, um, there's a lot of people that are out there like that and I think what happens is, big ass ant, what happens is when they uh, have children, they pass their fear to their children by not teaching the children what they're afraid of and so the children never know and so these boys black and white just they're friends they're not racist just black kids and white kids hanging out playing kind of like me and my homeboys did back in the days in claremont you know what i'm saying uh you know kids just playing riding bikes and they they found a little uh, they found a noose according to the reverend and they found a the little baby doll and they decided to creep people out in a typical boy fashion because boys will be boys but um you know let me know what y'all think in the section, but comment section below, because I gotta go catch my train. But anyways, have a better day than we did yesterday. Have a greater tomorrow, and do some push-ups. And uh, I don't want to be late. Peace.